Hello, how's it going? Okay, so today, for show and tell, I'm making some uh, tuning pegs for flamenco guitar. Oh, that could be a little better, actually. Mm, so that's pretty good. Um, what am I saying? Oh yeah, right. <clears throat> so I'm making them out of tamarind wood, which I kind of like the white, you know, and I think it might look quite cool next to this. So I made a peg shaver because the peg shaver I have is for cello pegs, which I use with the shamisen. And, you know, I didn't want to spend anywhere between $60 and $200 on a new shaver. So I made this. This is the, I did two versions and this is the second version. Um, the first one I tried, anyway, I kind of screwed it up, but I was thinking, oh, I'll just fix the blade down. And then I discovered, wow, it works really good just to, I can just push the blade down with my thumb. It's a bit f freaky. Um, anyway, like probably a really great peg shaver professional quality would make things a little simpler, but mm, whatever, it's fine. This should work. Um, yeah. So basically what I do is I sort of uh, carve, sand, rasp the peg down to a certain shape, close to the shape and size, and then I start to shave it. I'm just with my thumb here, and the, the pressure of the peg against here holds it against this piece of wood, which I've done just to support the blade, you know? It seems to be working pretty well. Um, I can, so far, see I'm not sure, like this one, I'm not too sure if I went in far enough, but I don't want to go too far. Let's see if I can tighten that up a bit. Mm -hmm. Oops. And I'm using this, uh, oh actually, oh yeah, that's interesting. Okay, I'm using a spoke shave blade, the spoke shave that I don't really use much. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool, eh, that I really didn't expect it to go this way. using the glove because it's sharp on the edge, you know? I'm tapering the peg shaft first, in this case, and then I'll shape the other bits. I kind of figure that makes more sense because if I mess up the, the taper, then I'm not having wasted a whole bunch of time on this other stuff. So, you know, I'll do a bit and cut that off. Have a look to see where we are. They're going to be not machine perfect, I think, because I can only go a certain distance, right? Like I can only go, it's only tapering to here and then I have to taper it by hand, but that's fine because the, on the flamenco, on the guitar, it's, and this is even thicker than the end result, it's going to be a bit thinner. On the guitar, it's only that section that needs the taper perfectly done, right? Whereas on a vi violin or viola or cello, it needs to be longer for, you know, anyway, I won't go into that. Same with shamisen needs to be, needs to cross kind of a bridge, you know. Yeah. Anyway, let's see what we got here. <sighs> yeah, so I'm just, I'm literally just pushing down on my thumb. I mean, it's not that much pressure. Just to keep it from lifting, I guess, is basically what's going on. <sighs> mm, oh, right. Okay. Hmm, interesting. I'll probably mess up a couple of them before I get to the... Oops. To get all six done. Experiment and all that. See, this is too thin. This one's probably going to be tossed. 
Well, don't know. No, I might get away with it. See, it should make the length longer, maybe. You know, I probably should have done a video when I just started trying this out a minute ago. So I'm sort of stumbling along a bit. But maybe it's interesting to see the stumble, you know? That could be. now. I hope I don't have to recut them because I just ran out of tamarind wood. I'd have to go get some. And the tamarind is... Oh, that might work. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Excellent. How's that look? That's going to look cool. And anyway, whatever. If worse comes to worse, I still got my ebony pegs. I picked up enough for both guitars. Making two guitars at the moment, but really just focusing on one. So I'll take this blank and I'll kind of shave the corners off, blah blah blah, and then I'll get my hoof rasp and start rounding it, blah blah blah, mostly the smooth side. Okay, right there. And I'll just work on that and I'll get it down close to the actual proper size. And then gradually get going with the with the um, peg shaver. Yeah. Anyway, pretty interesting, I think. One thing also, I've been looking at classical guitars and stuff, and this whoop is quite rounded. Seems to me quite often it's flatter. Like on the the instrument that I have that I bought, the factory made one. It's it's not nearly as swoopy. I think it should be fine. I mean, it's from the plan. It's matching it, so it should be okay. I really like the swoopiness. So I guess that's fine then. Okay, I hope everyone's doing great. Uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's Boxing Day. Ciao.